here in this adapter we have 20 volt so let's choose here as you can see 20 volt or choose we will choose 200 because in the adapter we have 20 volt so let's check the adapter right now <coughs> so i will put the black probe here into negative terminal and then put the red probe here in the positive terminal as you can see here in the multimeter we have 2021 okay so the adapter is good hi so as you see here this is asus laptop this laptop has as a problem no power and no light so let's open the laptop as you can see here so we have here the laptop as you can see so this is the asus laptop as you can see so now the battery is connected if i press this power button as you can see here no response here as you can see no response of course as you can see here the battery is installed and the battery seems to be good as you can see so the battery is a good battery this is a new battery okay no problem in the battery but the laptop still doesn't operate it so let's check now if the laptop will start using the adapter or not so here we have the adapter as you can see here so let's check first the adapter okay. so let's use the multimeter so so now let's as you can see here we have here the power jack so let's insert the adapter here as you can see now the adapter is inserted and then let's press the power button no light no response as you can see here so here as you can see here this leds should be eliminated when i press the power button do you see this leds for the battery for the hard disk drive as you can see so let's press the power button again as you can see, no light in the LEDs, no power, no light. Okay. Even if we connect the power jack and the battery, so let's check by removing the battery. Maybe there is a problem with the battery, and then keep just the power jack. So let's first remove the battery. So always to remove the battery, as you can see here, we have these marks here. We have this unlock and lock. You should always press this to unlock position. Okay. The same also here. We have unlock and lock. Okay. So you should always move this part to unlock position. Okay. So let's remove the battery now the battery is removed so let's keep it side now the battery is quite is removed so let's use just the adapter as you can see okay now the adapter is plugged so let's press the power button the same as you can see here okay i will press as you can see the power button do you see the LEDs no power no light so we should disassemble this laptop and then get to the motherboard and then troubleshoot it and diagnose the motherboard in order to find what is the problem exactly for this laptop Hi. so now we have the motherboard as you can see here we removed the motherboard okay in order to troubleshoot it and to isolate the problem okay so but first we're going to see an overview about the motherboard as you can see so here as you can see this is the power jack okay and here this is the power jack cable okay normally we should check 
this power jack first we will check this power jack to see visibility of this power jack first so let's check the serve visibility for this power jack as you can see this power jack as you can see contain four wires as you can see we have two wires two red wires and two black wires so this red wires is the high wires and this is the low wires on the ground so these two wires hold 20 volts okay so this red wires as you can see are connected to this pin here so this is the positive terminal and here as you can see this is the negative terminal as you can see so this is the positive here in the center and this is the negative so let's check first this wire okay so we should first select the continuity option or the buzzer option in the multimeter okay and then press the power button so let's check this wire so let's check first the red wires as you can see so i can just put one probe here as you can see and the second probe as you can see so let's check as you can see so let's check just the second red wire so good so now let's check the ground okay here we have the first ground so let's check okay as you can see good let's check the other wire so good so the this cable as you can see the power jack cable is good so always you should check the whole wires because sometimes you can find for example that this red wires one is connected and the other is not connected so you can have a problem in the motherboard because these two wires should hold 19 volt or or 20 volt in accordance with the type of the laptop okay or the type of the adapter okay so the first step is to check the cable the power jack cable and the power jack as you can see it seems good as you can see this is a new power jack cable it seems good so then once we check this power jack cable we should go ahead and continue diagnosing the motherboard